God bless, come and introduce us. So, brother. Okay, all right, no doubt. <laughs> brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we ain't kind of getting it up over here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Your Lunch Break podcast. It is, as you recently heard, God bless, a.k.a. Cassell, sitting next to my host with the most, enjoying the music. That's it, R.I.P. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, we're going to start off today's podcast talking about some sports, talking about boxing, you know, a couple of good fights coming up this weekend. Woo. We got Canelo. We got Kovalev. Okay. We're uh, just going to start with that. Let's just get right into it. Yeah. Who winning? Mm, man, you That's know. That's a toughie. My, my logical thinking mind says <clears throat> Canelo, because as uh, some of you know regarding Canelo, he makes sure all of those odds are ever in his favor. You know, he uh-huh. makes sure he makes sure he get his uh, catch weight advantage. He makes sure he can get you. Uh, I don't think he did a catch weight on this though. Mm. One seventy five is yeah. That's the that's light heavy. Yeah, but the other thing he did get was he caught Kovalev right after the, his fight with uh, Anthony Yard. Like he caught him. Uh, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Well, if if we're talking old school boxers, then this uh the the time from last fight to this fight is okay. But you know, new school boxers be wanting to take like half a year off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, you know, so I mean, I feel like maybe Canelo will win, but Kovalev. You can't. Ain't no buts, bro. Ain't no buts in this. But it's you gotta you gotta choose who you gonna pick. Who you who you going with? Ah uh, man, it's it's not it's not easy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Kovalev. I feel like it's Kovalev. I was, I, I was thinking initially that it was Canelo, but you know what I'm saying after uh, you know I talked to my co-host here who will be making his argument. Yeah, he made, he made it's like you know, hey Canelo, probably not gonna be able to get past that jab. If Anthony Yard wasn't able to do it, then let's not play. Canelo probably ain't. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I and I feel like it, it's I feel like it's gonna be a good fight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, both fighters have advantages. Yeah, and to me, it's 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 who gonna establish what kind of fight it is. Yeah, right. So I'm thinking like mm, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna just pick mine. I'm going with uh, Kovalov because, like, for real, he the underdog. <laughs> mm. And it's weird because he's a true 175-pounder. Yep. But, uh, you know, even though he's on the down end of his career, yep. he's uh, he can't take punches to the body. Nah. It's like we always say, though, that jab. Mm-hmm. And he can't – and he, he, he can crack. Yeah. Period. So – and and look, Canelo has a fucking chin, man. Yeah, he has a chin. He took all Golovkin can offer him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm thinking that's why he don't want no third fight because like neither one of them can hurt each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why? Why? What am I doing? Yeah. Um, and I feel like they they overlooking Kovalov as far as I'm I'm thinking they really think he weak. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason they do it. I don't care what Canelo talking about, talking about like, yeah, he's the best in the division. Right now, he's not the best in the division. You feel me? So he didn't take none of the young lions. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm going with Kovalov for this. 100%. Um, it's always a chance that anybody can win, but I'm going with Kovalov. And I have I have some theories. Yeah. Some conspiracy theories. Okay. I see what he's doing. Yeah, like if Kovalov, if they paid him enough, mm. yeah. <laughs> I hate to say it, but if they paid him enough, mm. he's gonna lose. You know, I don't care how good uh Canelo is. Mm. He not Andre Ward. No. He's not a, but he's great. Like Canelo is is good, you know what I'm saying. But he's not Andre Ward, bro. Hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah. And he don't have the power of the dude who had knocked Kovalov out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. He don't hit like Yard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Canelo definitely doesn't have the type of power that he's marketed as having. 
size. You got good power, but you got to factor Yeah, in for that the size. Power. For the size, like, mm-hmm. he has great power. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Kovalov, like I say, he on the down end, so, of course, anything can happen. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm picking Kovalov, though, unless they paid him handsomely. And uh, we'll watch the fight. We'll be able to tell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is, that is a good point. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like uh, Canelo's attack will be predominantly towards the body or? Mm-hmm. That's what he got to do. Yep. Kovalov got the reach advantage and mm-hmm. the height advantage. So it's like Canelo has to get in, period. But Canelo got to get inside, though. He, he got to get in. He got to get past that jab. Yeah. You know, so we're going we're gonna to see. I guess, yeah. I guess it's really uh, going to be the walking stick versus the iron chin. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, that's true. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, y'all got to let us know what y'all think. Yeah. <laughs> let us know in the comment section below because, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a good fight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all can call us crazy and all that. We don't care. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so it's all good. All right, so the next big fight. Wilder mm-hmm. Ortiz. Yeah. I recently uh, did a pretty good, you know, had a, a pretty good showing after the football game on Monday night. Regarding their boxing show, yeah, uh, they, they two point two mil. There it is. So uh, that's that's up there. Mm-hmm. That uh, that uh, of course on the heels of uh, the football game, but you know, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. People yeah. wouldn't stay and watch it if exactly. you know if they didn't it's if they that. weren't wanting to tune in. Mm-hmm. That uh, that definitely takes away a lot from the people who like to say, you know, uh, Wilder doesn't have a draw. He can't draw anything. Mm-hmm. We know that's bull crap, man. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people want to see Wilder lose, so they're going to be watching just for that. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, Wilder. Uh, if y'all can watch, I'm sorry, my dude, but yeah. if y'all can watch Tyson Fury fight all these bums, mm-hmm. and you know, but we know what it is. I I, I ain't going to even go. He's white, but yeah. yeah. That's what it is, bro. Straight yeah. up. Yeah, Tyson Fury's career to this point has been a sideshow. Yeah. But, uh, it, it could it could be you know Gypsy King or it could be Hun that was pretty smart. Yeah, it, it'll be Hun that was pretty smart if he takes the momentum he gets from having an MMA career, having a WWE debate, which it sounds like is off the table now. But if he takes the momentum from these two uh, excursions and comes back to you know boxing, you know uh, against you know Deontay Wilder, then it'll be you know maybe worth it. But he'll be the Gypsy King if he. Makes up another excuse come time to fight Wilder because all things considered, you know, Wilder knocked him out as per his own admission. You know, everybody saw what happened. So I'm not going to go into everybody saw what happened because, mm-hmm. of course, it's subjective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, tons of people believe that he won, you know, and mm-hmm. um, I believe that Wilder won, won the fight. So. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Wilder won the second half, mm-hmm. except for two rounds. You know, um, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, Ortiz, man, who winning? Let's start course, off with that. Of course, of course, Wilder. It's not even a question. Ortiz winning this, bro. Oh, what? Ortiz winning this. That's well, a joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was going to, you know, entertain it. You know, Ortiz is definitely uh, in shape. You know, he's been in camp doing his thing. But Wilder, you know... Wilder not sick. Nah, bro. That's there. You're not going to get the sick right hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wilder, like, you know, I think that's it. We're done with that. <laughs> Let's not even play. Wilder was sick. He was sick as a dog. If you saw the post fight, Wilder was, you know, I did it. Oh, yeah. Uh, sick, yeah. Sick as a dog and everything. I did it. And he absolutely did. Man, know, so. it, it, look, look, y'all. I'm going to just tell y'all this. And. As much hate as wild to get. This dude weighs most of the time between 207 Mm -hmm. and we're going to just say 215. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. If Wilder wanted to, he could probably be a light heavy. Yeah. Easy. That's something that I heard he entertained a while ago. He did. But, man, look. Respect, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all got to start respecting this dude. All these big ass, mm-hmm. oompa loompa looking, you know what I'm saying? Like out of shape looking mugs and everything. Mm-hmm. And, and this dude is, he coming in shape every time. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody get tired, but he's coming in shape. He's coming to knock everybody out. Mm-hmm. And he weighs less than everybody in a division. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm. Nobody can survive that right hand. You know, <laughs> his, his anatomy no, is different. <laughs> yeah, and then and then just the the lack of respect for the skill mm. because it is skill and it is he does have a, a very good IQ in that ring mm. for him to make the adjustments that he has to make every single fight. You know, mm. if y'all was paying attention to that in that Tyson Fury fight, how he was. You know, at first he started off. He was he started off wild. He, I mean, he fought wild through the whole fight, trying to just knock his head off. Mm -hmm. But uh, everybody know who watched Wilder's fight know that that's not the type of fighter he is. Mm -hmm. You know, he a sniper. So, but if y'all paid attention to his timing, and from from the seventh round up, mm -hmm. it was like I was like, up. Oh, he's getting closer. Mm -hmm. That timing when he jabbed with he started jabbing with uh Tyson Fury. Yeah. He started jabbing with him. Cause you know, Tyson Fury, he even though he moves a lot, mm -hmm. he he's repetitive. He does the same shit. Mm -hmm. You know? If you just watch the fight, man. Yeah. You know, watch how he's he his steps before he throw a hard punch mm -hmm. or before he's actually gonna throw the punch. Yeah. Everybody does it, right? But you know, of course, you can't be perfect. Wilder, he ain't got to be perfect. He just got to hit you once. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they don't give him enough respect for his IQ in there, man. Like, even his adjustments when he fought uh, um, Ortiz last time. Mm -hmm. Everybody he fight, he, he makes smooth adjustments. They be smooth. And he don't get no credit for them. Because, look, all he got to do is set you up <laughs> for one punch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's the truth. <laughs> wild, that's wild. all he gotta do. Wilder is Saitama. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we got Wilder. Mm -hmm. Wilder. All right. So I, right now we got Wilder and Kovalev. Mm -hmm. We on the same page. Yeah. All right. So the next fight. Oh, oh, this is funny. Uh, but we got the rematch of the year. <laughs> oh, we got another fight, too, after this one. Yeah, okay. I got another one. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Rematch of the year, Ruiz, Anthony Joshua. And chicken legs. He, they be talking about wilder legs, how skinny wilder legs. Yeah. Man, Anthony Joshua, like, under that... Mm -hmm. Under that body, he must have chicken legs. <laughs> Got some but, chicken bones going on right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we don't do too much. You know, shout out to Anthony Joshua. You know, he just, he's fit for the wrong sport, you know. Man, uh, you he, know. He, he 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 messed up when he let dude touch them belts. That's, mm -hmm. but I said, he, yeah, man, was, I wish, look, what this might, this this is what we would do. Because we predicted that if he fought Jarrell Jer Big Baby Miller that he was going to lose. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think it would have been a beating because I don't think Big Baby Miller actually hits as hard as Andy Ruiz. Mm -hmm. um, um, speed wise, I think he's you know under Andy Ruiz, but he has speed. He has great speed. That's why you know people like Big Baby Miller. Mm -hmm. But his constant attack, his pressure is different. You know what I'm saying? Andy Ruiz is a better. I feel like a better counter puncher. Yep. So yeah, he caught, he caught uh, Anthony Joshua a couple of times. Being yeah, really aggressive with them fast hands. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think 100. percent I'm a, and I'm gonna put the video back up. Maybe I'll just uh, it won't be with the video, but it is it will be with us talking about how we felt like Jarrell, Big Baby Miller was gonna beat his ass, mm -hmm. you know. And shame on you, Big Baby. Man, shame on you. You know, uh, Bob Herman's out saying um, it was some kind of drink or some concoction or something like that. We don't care. Yeah, we don't care, bro. It don't. It don't. Um, as an athlete, you're responsible for everything you put in your body. Yeah, you know, it's 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 life or death. Yep. You know, and so now we looking at a Ruiz. He just signed. Joshua I think he Ruiz. just did a deal with Top Rank too. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but yeah. So I'm put that. We gonna put that video up. Mm -hmm. Uh, but anyway, Andy Ruiz, Joshua, who you got? That's what we got to start off Ruiz, with. Ruiz. It's not even a question. Uh, you know they they talking like they, it's it's looking like, you know, Joshua ain't got his people confident. You know, behind the way he's moving, it's it's sounding like. You know, he might be having some mental health issues going on and or he just isn't on point, you know, in terms of, his, you know, being sharp and ready for, you know, this fight. Make sure you're talking to the into the, the what's called, brother. Absolutely. 
know. <laughs> But it's, it's, it sounded yeah. like, you know, he ain't on point like that. He's not as sharp as he needs to be mentally. Yeah, yeah. Going into not only a fight against Andy Ruiz, but going into a rematch against the man who done took all of your belts and got you looking crazy now. So. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going with Joshua for this fight. Mm -hmm. I'm going with Joshua. I'm thinking Joshua going to get his belts back. Well, the other factor is that Andy Ruiz lost 30 pounds. But I'm, you know I'm joking because today is all about jokes. Okay, well. Yeah, but Andy Ruiz did lose 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, what you think about that? I mean, his people are naturally small. Uh, him losing 30 pounds against Anthony, like. He's not, he not naturally small. Fair enough, but, you know, like, he not, he not. Nah, bro. Nah, I'm not finna sit up here and act like I'm a doctor and my thing is in human anatomy and physiques and whatnot. It's not the case, but like, nah, man, your people like they not. He not Deontay Wilder. He can't go in there and give up 40, 50 pounds like Deontay yeah, Wilder but, did. did and but does. him losing 30 pounds will mm -hmm. put him probably around like 250. That's a great point. <laughs> so he's still a heavyweight, heavyweight. He yeah. not Deontay Wilder still. That's you know what I'm saying? Point. Yeah. Um, I just want to, I just would like to see, you know, if the weight affects him. Because I, if he fought at like 270, 280 or whatever he was in the first fight mm -hmm. and he lost his 30, hopefully it was a natural loss. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't like, it, I mean, I don't know what kind of loss it was. I didn't, yeah. I didn't watch any of the videos or anything, but if it's a natural loss, um, cause he already fast. He already has some good pop in his punch. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I would like to see if Anthony Joshua takes advantage of it, you know, cause overall Anthony Joshua is still the stronger guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He just got to be smart. How can Anthony Joshua win a fight? That's what we should have talked about in each one of these, but how can Anthony Joshua win this fight? He got to be on point mentally. He got to be mentally strong. He got to believe in himself. And uh, I, I got to make it mental because Joshua don't have the best head movement. Joshua's the slower fighter. And uh, you got to deal with the, psycholo the psychology of this dude, even if it wasn't about me thinking Anthony Joshua's mentally weak. You got to deal with the psychology of this dude having taken your belts already. And now you coming in to prove yourself against him. So I think the best thing Anthony Joshua can do is be focused, determined, dedicated, you know what I'm saying, motivated. I think that's the best thing he can do because other than that, physically, you know, he, he got the same advantages and the same disadvantages. Yeah. We all know he don't got no chin. Yeah. So. Um, uh, Ruiz, first off, Ruiz took his belts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, is I'm saying those are Ruiz belts. Yeah, cause, because Anthony Joshua let him touch it from the first in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> he came in and took his belts. Man, you know what I'm saying? What was it? You can't do it like that. Uh, mm -mm. But I feel like Anthony Joshua, he can win this if he box. Mm. If he box, if he use his jab mm -hmm. as slow and. Methodical. Yeah, if he uses his jab, and it what's weird to me is that everybody was calling like Anthony Joshua like an athletic freak, and if y'all saw the way dude try to dunk, like come on, he's he's he don't he don't move great. No, he he, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He don't have like super fast hands or nothing. His training is all wrong. Like is is he an athlete just because he can lift weights, bro? Mm -hmm. Like get out of here. But anyway, he's he's not an athlete anyway. No. I mean, he's an athlete because I guess we can call athletes boxers, gymnasts, mm -hmm. basketball players, of course. You know, but no, he's not athletic. There it is. You know? Athleticism uh, on somewhere around, you know, 10, maybe yeah. 10, he's, 15. Red, I mean, just think about it. Nikolo uh, Jokic, who played with the, with the Nuggets, mm -hmm. he's a center. He passes great. He's he has a great IQ in boxing, mm -hmm. yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, in basketball, mm -hmm. and um, but he's not athletic, bro. No, <laughs> he's slow, mm -hmm. but he know how to use his shit. You know what I mean to yeah. do what he do. Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk. 
100 percent we can it, i mean we can go into point guard small forwards it's just the great ones know how to use what they have yep you know and so uh it's like deontay wilder always said they've been hiding joshua i mean that that fight with klitschko was great but when you let a man put you down and the way he falls is like, yeah, you you not gonna be towering above many long. Yeah, falling the way he falls, the way he falls just threw me off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he falls like when he falls, it's like like I don't even know. Mm. But uh, anyway, so you got Ruiz. Yeah, I'm definitely 100 percent Ruiz. I'm I'm Ruiz as well. Um, also because the belt should be in America. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a serious face. Yeah. They should be in America because I'm sorry. You know, I, I like some fighters over there, mm-hmm. but the way y'all was on this dude and prep, pumping him up and all this shit, like yeah. even the way y'all pumping Tyson Fury up to not have a belt. Yeah. It's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Imaginary champion, imaginary belt, imaginary power. It's disgusting. Imaginary heart at this point because, like I said, he's the, he's going to be, you know, a smart guy if he comes back with this little attention he gets from the WWE and from the MMA. But he's going to be the Gypsy King if he makes up another excuse and doesn't get into this rematch with Deontay Wilder. Yeah, man. Okay. So, look. One more fight. Mm. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, one more, one more thing. Okay. On to the psychology regarding Anthony Joshua. It's a possibility that Anthony Joshua could retire after this fight. Yeah, so you were just telling me that. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. I won't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, because, I, I mean, I like I don't want to see him get hurt by Wilder. Yeah. I don't want to see him go to sleep like that. Yeah, and it's, it's weird. It's, you could can, you can take the L from Ruiz, yeah. and it's okay. I mean, it's still not okay, but it's okay. You're not sleep. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't have to get up for real from like just being like all that talk. Mm-hmm. Cause I, I mean, I feel like from all that talk, all these years, all that you know, the money that could have been made and all this, when Wilder hit you, he's knocking money out of your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's knocking all that bad talk. You being a good guy, mm-hmm. you know, all that shit coming out of you. Yeah, that was uh. It's 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 gonna be sad, but you know, like I said, it's it might be a good thing because you know Anthony Joshua, he's proven himself to not be the most sturdy guy mentally, and um, I mean, it's better than him, you know, being another casualty in the sport of boxing. Yeah, you know, if he knows, and he's a good he's a good dude, man, mm-hmm. but uh, he's too good. Yeah, he's he's almost as good as Joseph Parker. With the purity of his good heart. Mm, yeah, Joseph Parker. <laughs> and, and if, if, you, if you don't get that joke, by the way, that's referencing Joseph, Joseph Parker's uh, ring entrance and his people with the whole, you know, death taunt. But he's soft as a school teacher the whole time. He and nice, man. He just nice. Mm-hmm. I like Joseph Parker, too, but he's nice. Mm-hmm. So yeah. he, he ain't supposed to be a boxer. Nah. And Anthony Joshua, he might not supposed to be a boxer. He may be supposed to be like some kind of model or something like that. And it's yeah. not like... Uh, you know that's just, he ain't he ain't, ain't we've been on like Anthony we've been on Anthony them too long. Let's move on. Yep. All right, Anthony, you're losing. But uh, mm-hmm. let's go Javante Davis versus Gamboa. Man, the thing about Javante is he be on social media talking crazy to everybody. He talking crazy to Deontay Wilder, but you know the fight ain't gonna never happen. He talking crazy <laughs> to uh, yeah. Well, who, who's, who's the latest guy? He talking crazy to uh, the, the champ at one Taylor, party. man. Like Josh Taylor. Yeah. He talking crazy to Josh Taylor now, which but I think is okay. It's a it's a possibility, but you know you He's gotta a, look at it's the okay. Pattern. He he would beat he would beat Josh Taylor. He would beat him. Sorry, that's I think that's an easy fight for him. And I like I like uh, Javante as well, but you know you show sure ain't saying Lomachenko's name. Floyd now probably told him not to say Lomachenko. Yeah, because Floyd don't want to see you know Aram get the money. But I'm a, I, look Javante can say any of them niggas' names, mm-hmm. and I threw that out like 
You know, my real talk coming out. Okay. He can say any of the, 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 those guys. Mm-hmm. He can say any of their names. He will beat Lomachenko. He will knock him out. He will knock him sleepy, <clears throat> but it will be a good fight. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. But when he catch him, mm-hmm. it's over. Javante, look, he still ain't showed everything. He ain't had to. Mm-hmm. Just on the real. He just hasn't had, had to show, show much against... The, his opponents, even the ones that him and Lomachenko fought against, mm. he hasn't had to show much, mm. you know, because first off, none of those guys hit even not a tenth as hard as this dude, you know. So well, I'm more interested in seeing him fight against like Gary Russell. That's the other thing, man. We ain't heard him say Gary Russell. He's not going to say Gary Russell. I'm more interested in that. Is your thing still going? Yep. Okay. Well, you know, uh I So Eureka Gamboa. Jerry Oakes, yeah. Verse Yeah. yeah. Javante. Um I can't believe you never thinking. I haven't seen I can't even Javante. believe that. No, nah, I'm saying I haven't seen Javante be faded in the ring. I haven't seen him. I feel like he's sharp physically. I love I love I love his boxing. But I'm saying, man, like who he fought? He's fought everybody that they had him to fight, <laughs> and he's knocked every one of their asses out. That's who he fought. All right. And how old is Javante? Like 22, 23. There you go. I mean, all right, that's cool. Was you know? There you go. All of, I mean, did he? He, you know, all of the guys he's been fighting, who they put as number one. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, no, don't get it, don't get it. You know, Mr. Screw, I was just saying, I feel like he could fight, you know, damn near all the way up to what, what, what did I say, like junior middleweight or something? You crazy like for that, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel, I feel like he can pull the, but that ain't got nothing to do with him today, fighting Eureka's Gamboa. Who, yeah. who, who, who you picking to win? Oh man, see, I tried, I tried, all right, to how move, about this? Out of it. I think it's an easy fight, Javante, uh, knockout, period. I think he puts him to sleep. We'll see. Yep. I, I don't think it's no I, I don't think that's even I think it's a a, a good fight for him, but Eureka's done. He's done. He's done. People gonna go off for that last fight against another done fighter. <laughs> no. He's done. And I mean it, it, he wanted to fight against Javante. Mm-hmm. It's a money fight for him. Yeah. It's all good. He's getting knocked out. Period. And I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it six rounds. Okay. I'm confident in that it, it don't go past six. Okay. There you have it. Six rounds. Yep. Javante. And not only that. Not only that. How many times do we get to see Javante Davis have the reach advantage? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's, that's one of them points right there. Woo! You know. Hmm. But I mean. You know, credit to uh, Gamboa. He's quick, mm-hmm. and he's st- he hits hard. But, look, he hits hard, but he don't hit like Javante. I'm sorry. Nah. To me, Javante hits like a 147-pounder, you know, and he's just working his way up to that weight class slowly. Mm-hmm. Well, not slowly. He's 22, 23, so, mm-hmm. you know. Well, I, w- I would like to see. I would like to see. I feel like uh, Uriokis. <laughs> and I can't even say that confidently because Javante is such a sharp fighter. But I feel like Yuri is gonna get off at least maybe twice. Two good punches, maybe. Everybody everybody get hit. Yeah. You know, even even in Javante Davis last fight, I wanted them to let the young guy go on because yeah. uh I think they ended it too quick. I thought it was gonna be a good test. Yeah. Cause dude can take punches and he can punch. Mm. So uh but you know, it is what it is. And no doubt if Gamboa get hit by anything mm-hmm. of that nature, he's he's out of there. Yeah, you know, we, he's out of there. Gamboa does get dropped like every fight. Yeah, he's out of there. You know, that's just what it is. All right, I give it, I give it up. It's, <laughs> it's going to be Javante. Okay, so, I mean, we didn't talk boxing. Mm-hmm. Do we have anything else to say in regards to the boxing community? Uh, Kovalov is winning. Mm-hmm. That's who we pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Canelo gonna do his thing, no doubt. Um, it can go either way. Mm-hmm. Um, 
who gonna establish themselves that's what's gonna matter uh Luis Ortiz versus Wilder easy fight I mm-hmm. think it's. I think when Wilder get to fight anybody two times, mm-hmm. I think it's gonna be easy. Yeah, and we're not gonna be talking. We're not talking about a sick Wilder. So. Nah. So I think Wilder knockout. Um, I don't think in the tenth round. I think maybe five um, could be the first three rounds. Mm-hmm. So then uh, Javante, I give it to, to the sixth round. Might be earlier. Yeah. Because he might not come in there playing. Cause I actually think he do want to fight Javante. I mean, um, I think he want to fight Lomachenko. That's the reason. Not only because he couldn't make the weight, but mm-hmm. Lomachenko's up there. Let's go get him. Mm-hmm. You know. And okay. then, um, but it'll be interesting for Stevenson, Haney, mm-hmm. like get some of those guys. But I really want to see any of them against Russell. So, I think everybody kind of mm-hmm. putting Russell out. I mean, when Lomacheco couldn't beat him, uh, a healthy Russell. Yeah. Because, I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't healthy in that fight. Okay. But uh, Lomachenko, skill up, he's skilled, though, so whatever. Anyway, let's let's end this, man, on a boxing tip. Okay. All right, well, uh, we appreciate you coming out, checking out. Okay, no doubt. Ha-ha. All right. Round two. We appreciate you guys coming in, uh, sharing your lunch break with us. You know, it is your host with the most God bless, aka Cassell, with my co host, Roderick, R I P yep. Jones. And uh, with that said, lunch break is over. Get your ass back to work. Ha ha. Mm-hmm.